EasyWear Plus Quick Start Guide, Part 5, Creating Digital Objects. In this section, we will create some of the basic digital elements that your end user will see and interact with to control their system. Two set bit objects will be added to the detail page in the form of start and stop buttons to allow the user to turn the process on and off. And a bit lamp object, using the image of a lamp with text, will be added to show the user the current state of the process. In this video series, we will only deal with two variable types, local word, or LW, and local bit, or LB, both variables stored in the HMI. A live project would have objects linked to variables both locally and in the connected PLC, but for this example, elements will be linked directly to each other within the HMI. First we will add a start button, object, button, set bit. We will comment it with start. We will leave the local bit at its default zero, and the set style is set on. In the label tab, we will label it with white text and start. And in the shape tab, we will use a picture from the quick start guide, image one. Click OK. Ensure that set to original dimensions is selected. And then we will create the stop button. Copy. Paste. Edit. Stop. Shape. Two. Label. Stop, set style, set off, and align. And now we will add a bit lamp to show the state of the bit controlled by the input buttons. Objects, lamp, bit lamp. We will label it run indicator. The read address will be the local bit zero, which is what is controlled by the start and stop buttons. In the Shape tab, select Picture Library, Quick Start, Image 0. Notice that this image has two states, State 0 and State 1. State 1 is green, State 0 is red. In the Label tab, select Use Label, and we will enter different text for the two different states, State 0 and State 1. For State 0, we will use black text labeled off. For state 1, change the state. Change the color to yellow. Text on. Click OK and place the lamp. To test the lamp to see how the two states appear requires the state toolbar. If the state toolbar is not visible, go to the view, toolbar, state. The state toolbar allows the user to preview each of the configured states for every element on the window at once. For example, a digital variable used for run indication might be programmed to read running for state 1 and stopped for state 0. An analog variable might be programmed for a dozen different states to communicate with 12 different error codes read from that variable. To toggle to state 1, select 1. The bit lamp changes state. Go back to 0. You can also use the arrow keys or the drop-down menu. The drop-down menu is required for analog states with more than five states. With part five complete, you have now created the digital inputs and displays needed to control the process and can now interact with variables in your HMI program. In part six, we will add analog inputs and displays so that you are able to control and monitor any process variable.